Final fight here with Zach Parker. Um, how are you feeling when um, you fight on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, feeling, feeling unbelievable to fight. Best I've ever been. Uh, best I've ever prepared for a fight. Uh, I feel like I'm getting better with age, like a fine wine. So yeah, really looking forward to the fight. He seems game as that. So yeah, it should, be, yeah, it should make up for a good fight. You're in really good shape, man. So like, yeah, yeah. I can see like, that's I'm it, yeah. as a first trainer, so I can see when someone's at the physique yeah, or not. Yeah. So That's can, it. Can, can, can Get the weighing out of the way tomorrow, and then we can all, all systems go for Saturday night. Yeah, all systems go. Man. Obviously, like, like, obviously, you're in a big uh, stack division worldwide, like should be the weight. You know, um, you know, you want you obviously you want to springboard this to a, to a world title fight. Yeah. Um, obviously, then, and the guy that you can fight, most likely, most likely to fight, you can be turned out. Um, how do you rate Tenno? Tenno? I say he's a, obviously a legend of the game. Uh, obviously he's got a good fight against Mungio, he's just got a good win off John Riley. It's, it's a sack uh, this, um, division at the minute, um, but I see uh, Canelo winning that. He's grown, Mungio's only just come in into the Super Heavyweight division, I don't think he's yeah. grown into it um, enough at the minute. But um, yeah, I see he's, he's an old dog, isn't he, uh, Canelo? He's got a lot of tricks under his in sleeve, so yeah, I see him winning that. Obviously, but I, th I think if you fight him, more like if you, if you obviously win Saturday night, you fight. I think, I think maybe at the time, is that, I think it's under decline. Of it, yeah. Because obviously, it's still good, fully excellent fight. I'm not taking it away from both. Yeah, yeah. It's still under decline. So I think maybe the timing of it might be right now, isn't it, for you? Yeah, 100%. Um, he's definitely there to be beat. He's, he's, coming, he's getting on a bit now. No, I'm, I'm not even in my prime yet. I feel like I've got a couple of years until I'm in my prime. Uh, like I say, I'm like a fine wine. Um, exactly, I'm looking better every time. I, every, every camp I have, I feel better and better. Um, do the bet, weight better. Um, and yeah, that's, it's, a, it's a good vision. And obviously, if, I, if there's any big fights that Light Heavy gets proposed to me, I can move up to Light Heavy as well. Yeah, I was going to ask that. I was going to ask that. Actually, like, would, yeah. you, would you move up after, 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 you know, after a while? Because you get older, it's hard to put weight. Yeah. But by the time, always catches everybody. So we've got yeah. to Light Heavy weight, which is it's a very static division domestically. As well, but that's that's a Taylor here as well. He's, he's one of the guys. Yeah, yeah. Like ben Whitaker, you got Joshua Gawatsi, yeah. and Iyad. Yeah, just you know, all the guys that are, are like heavyweight. So you can mix it with those guys too. Right? Yeah, hundred um, percent. Obviously, they're both stacked divisions. It's just if I'm, I can make both weights at the minute. Um, so yeah, if there's if there's a big fight presented to me, I'm going to go up and take it with both hands. But it's just uh, getting the right fights at the right time. Uh, and see what see what they say after this. Get the, all I'm concentrating on is Saturday night. So I'm in there with a good opponent, former world champion, uh, and uh, yeah, I've got I've got to be switched on. Yeah, exactly, man. Um, so actually, away from boxing, um, just like you know, when you're at home in your own time, what you know, what what, what are you doing in your downtime? Yeah, obviously I've just had a daughter, she one and a half years old, so I've just I'd spent I'd say, uh, I'd spend a lot of time with her. Um, when you're in camp, you just focus on yourself. But yeah, when that's my little downtime, um, just takes my mind off things. So yeah, Fam family, for, family first. So. Yeah, exactly. That's my distant daughter. Yeah, she's, yeah. she's quite, like, trying to follow me from my footsteps. So I understand wholeheartedly, my like. Yeah, so you know, she's a, she's a, she's an adult now, so like, yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, don't know the raising, don't know the raising of her uh, already, so like, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to that's come, it. Man. When you when you got like uh, when you're in these big shows and that, all the fans are there, but when it's all over, who's there? The family, so yeah, yeah, exactly, you got to stick, you got to stick to them. Yeah, so obviously, you know, after you, know, you pay, spend time with your family or whatever, like, so like, what's that music listening to? You know, you're chilling or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I jump to anything to be fair. Um, Oasis, uh, or even like Grahm and that as well. I, 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 I can jump to anything. Uh, my dad likes rock and roll, a bit of Elvis Presley and that. So yeah, there's, there's all sorts of drums out there. It's just what's on. Usually someone else puts it on in the in the gym. So yeah, I just I just jump to anything. Yeah, man, exactly. I just want to, I want to get the fans to know like a bit more about you. Yeah, like, yeah. Ever ask the same questions you get and giving the same answers. Like That's it, just yeah. thought, like you know, change it a little bit That's and it, ask yeah. you something different. I think my daughter wants to ask you a question. My name's Mina. I'm yeah. just like a big kid, I interview, so I'm just I'm learning. Yeah, so no worries. I just want to have a conversation just to get to know you as a person. Yeah. So do you feel like today, after that press conference, do you feel like able to all talk, especially with your opponent as well? Yeah, obviously, you obviously don't speak a lot of English, does he? Yeah. So you can't really get loads out of it, but he was up there. 
he was on about having beers and that. And then uh, when we were doing the face off, he was like, smart. And I said, you're just here to have a party or something, mate. I'm here to knock you out. So, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, that's a serious yeah, yeah. fight, basically. That, that's it, yeah. That's what, it, once he steps in there, I start hitting him, hit him a few shots, then he'll, then he'll find out. And so we'll have to wait and see. So I, remember, I heard you say that obviously you just sparring in Germany, but he didn't want to carry on. Yeah, Do yeah. you feel like because he was thought it was a joke, or was he actually afraid? I don't, I don't know. He said um, he, got, he got out of the ring and then he said he's hurt his hand or something the next day. And uh, I was like, all oh, right. And he, I was thinking, yeah, he didn't catch me with a shot. <laughs> so, yeah, and, but um, yeah, it was meant to be two, uh, it was meant to be three eight rounds, and then I just had to have a holiday for the uh, rest of the week. But look, he paid for it, so it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and you, as a person, when it comes to health training, what's the top tips that you learn for somebody else to help you enjoy? Why, why I'm training? Yeah, so like, yeah, you just got to be dedicated. Um, obviously, you don't you don't get anywhere without a bit of hard work. Um, so yeah, you just every day, you just, even if you're having a bad day. You just got to still put in the work and uh, obviously with boxing it's a really hard game so if you don't put it all in you're going to you're gonna come unstuck so yeah you just got to put 100% in um, and enjoy it as well because when you don't enjoy stuff you just do it it's like a grill it's like what they're saying um, when you've got a job if you love doing it you don't work a day in your life so yeah you just got to love doing it. Who inspired you to take this career path or did you inspire yourself? Um, it runs in my family to be fair my dad was a boxer Professional box Chris Eubank and a couple of world champions as well. And uh, bo both my bo brothers were boxers as well. One was 14, uh, 13, lost one, and uh, all my cousins do as well. So it's in my blood, really. Um, I've been doing it since I was like four years old. Uh, and just been in the gym. The man, all my family has got me in, in the gym. Okay, can I ask you a personal question that I've what you just said? Right. Yeah. Um, did you take a boxing just because it's in your family? Did you feel like it was a like forced on you? Did you feel like that's what you wanted to do? Or was it just like it's just all you know? No, it's just what I've known for all my life. Um, it, didn't, it won't force me because I was a really good footballer. I had um, trials for Nottingham Forest and uh, Man United at like, scout watching me. But, um, good job I didn't go with Forest because obviously I'm a Darwin fan, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we never, never forced me. They, my mum and dad always um, said, whatever you do, we'll support you. And, uh, that's, yeah, that's it. And then obviously all my family did it. And then I've been doing it and obviously I was quite good at it. So, so do you feel like that helped you? Because I was open-minded, so you felt like you had no passion, so it gave you more motivation to do that's it. That's it, yeah. There was other paths out there to take. but. Um, this one I took and I was a good amateur. I uh, would box for my, my country in Great Britain and um, yeah, I feel like um, this is the right path for me. Okay, just got one more last question. Yeah. So I know it's really, it might be a weird one, sorry. But what do you do? Like, what do you do at home? If you really want it, if you're just home alone, what's like the first thing you would do? Like, I'm not saying like you would chill watch TV. Yeah, yeah. Now, what's a thing you do in your own? Probably, room? probably like uh, playing play my PlayStation somewhere. Like PlayStation. Like, yeah. Oh, I, I, to be honest, I do like trekking. I like, I like going uh, like mountain walking out here, but that's a weekend. I used to take my daughter and my missus with that. Um, but yeah, um, just playing PlayStation, chill out. Um, it's a full time job boxing. So I'm like training every single day, so I need that little bit of downtime. I'm probably watch a bit of TV. So I'm a bit boring. You know what I mean, I'm a dad now, so. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, no worries. Time, I appreciate you, bro. No worries.